a small crocodilla formed from the early Cretaceous Crado formation of the northeastern Brazil. The laminated limestone of the Crado formation crops out at the waterfall near the town of Crado, but is extensively quarried at Nova Olinda. The formation is of early Cretaceous age and, belonging to the Aption stage is as old as 108 million years. The platy limestone formed on the bottom of an inland lagoon under stagnant and hostile hypersaline conditions. Suzy Sucos was the third crocodiliform species named from the Ararite Basin and the first one from the Crado Formation. Here we have a dwarf caiman. Its scientific name is Paleosuchus trigonatus. It has a large range in South America, including the Amazon River. This species is found in and around cool, fast-flowing forest streams and rivers. It can often even be found in waterfalls or rapids. It seems to prefer cooler water than other crocodilians. This particular species is the second smallest crocodilian in the world, only growing from four to six feet. The smallest is another species of dwarf caiman, Cavier's dwarf caiman, getting no longer than four to four and a half feet. They have these beautiful brown eyes, while most crocodilians have yellow eyes. This species has more and larger bonia plates, called osteoderms, than most other crocodilians. You can see that their feet are very interesting because they lack webbing. This shows that as adults they tend to become more terrestrial and are found in higher uplands. In crocodilians, the, species, um, the sex of the species is determined by temperature that the eggs are incubated. Incubation time of this particular species is longer than most crocodilians. They lay clutches of 10 to 20 eggs, and they take about 100 to 115 days to incubate. This species feeds on birds, fish, reptiles, and even large mammals. The females are very interesting in the way that they build their nests. They build their nests out of decaying vegetation, and they actually lay their nests next to termite mounds. Apparently, the mounds provide heat generation for the nests. Sometimes they'll even build on an old nest site, even if the termite nest is dead. The heat from the decaying vegetation in the nest is sufficient to incubate the eggs properly. This is the only species of crocodilian that nests around termites this way. And the behavior may help compensate for the lack of heat from sunlight in the shady forest habitats that these animals are known to live in.